Hi, I'm Roxanne Moore, Registered Dietitian and Wellness Director with Sodexo. Every five years, the government releases dietary guidelines to help Americans understand what foods to eat and what foods we should be eating less of. Now, power foods are always at the top of the list of foods to include in your diet. Now, power foods are things like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and beans. But the reality is many people simply don't eat enough of these power foods. When we actually take a look at the top 25 food products consumed by Americans ages two years and older, one thing tends to stand out. The foods that dietary guidelines want us to eat less of are actually the foods we eat the most of. So items like desserts and regular sodas, high fat dairy products, chips, fried foods, processed meats, and grains made with white flour dominate the list. We need to be adding more power foods to our diets. Now one common barrier that is perceived is that power foods such as fruits and vegetables are too expensive or too hard to cook, but that's not necessarily so. To add more power foods to your diet, you need to get a little creative. Preparation time, lack of familiarity, and old habits are really the barriers that I see prevent people from consuming more fruits, veggies, whole grains, and beans. Now you may need to blend them, you might need to puree them, slice them, dice them, or maybe even dip them. But no matter how you do it, and no matter what the form, your body's gonna thank you for taking the time to consume the best nutrition possible.